Hello and welcome to Warbit. This guide is for standard users and um, it will show you how to claim resources from the site and it will also show you how to upload surplus resources. Um, you're here because your organization has probably signed up to Warbit. Um, when an organization signs up to Warbit they get their own uh, specific portal. For example, this is Sundon City Councils. This is Nottingham Trent Universities, but I'm going to show you the features of a standard user account um, on the demonstration test poll. So, uh, first of all, to register, you go to the address that your key contact has supplied. It might be something like that, um, forward slash your organization. You go to the register now button. Then fill in your details. It's important to fill in your work email. This is about organizational reuse. It's not for home really. Um, so put your work email and address in there. Fill these details in. Um, read the terms and conditions. Agree to those. And then also confirm that you work in that particular organization. This is demonstration test portal. Yours will be the name of your organization. And then you create an account. What happens then is you get sent an email which gives you further instructions. Before you go ahead and do anything on Warbit, I would advise that you just take some time to read about the um, advertising guides on the website. Um, so let's log in. So we're logging into the demo site as a user, standard user. Um, you will get sent your username and password in an email so log in now you will see that this is your own personal area and um, on the left hand side you can see um, this is for all of the items that you've added to the site this is for all of the items that you've claimed from the site so these are the states of the items that you've actually added to the site. So I've added a cluster desk, a corner desk, and they're still available. Um, in this under here, this bit is any item which hasn't been claimed, might have gone into storage. Any item which hasn't been claimed and has ended up being disposed of. These are all my items that have been being claimed by somebody else. And these are all of my items that have been claimed and have then been collected by somebody else. This bit here, these are all of the items that I have claimed off the site. And these are all of the items that I've actually ended up collecting. Now they're different because you can make a claim and then you might not collect it for a few days. So that's where the difference is. This is an important feature. This is your wish list. If you need anything, um, you can add it to this bit here and then whenever something like this gets put on the site you'll get an email straight away so you can claim it before anybody else and then this is a view of the members in your organization and then you can edit your profile here change your password that sort of thing but the two big activities you're probably interested in is how do I add how do you add an item and how do you search and claim for items so let's add an item Um, this is just like other resource redistribution systems. Um, you might recognize it, I suppose. Um, so you can, if you want any guidance, just look behind these orange question marks. And there's always a bit of information there which helps you on your way. It's your responsibility to describe the item accurately. Um, you can decide whether you want to give it away or loan it out or actually dispose of it. Um, so let's just give something away. Um, I know I've got a desk handy somewhere, so it's a corner desk. It's important to add your dimensions in because um, the more accurate you describe an item, the more likelihood it is you're going to have a successful transfer. And I uh, know it's not great, it's good condition. Uh, this is just a test, of course. Um, now, um, you can decide when the item becomes active on the system 
and when the deadline is. So the longer deadline you set, the better um, for internal redistribution. But obviously, sometimes you're against the clock. So let's just say I'm still in the office until next week. And I don't want to get disposed of this desk rental lens, so it won't become active until the 18th. And um, I can keep it in the same place for another month. So it's not, it doesn't need to go anywhere till the end of end of October. Um, it's very important to upload an image. This is just to encourage. This is just to make sure that the item gets claimed, really. Because I can see see it, the more likely to to claim it. Um, if you haven't got any images, you can just go online and look for something that looks similar, save it, and then upload it. Um, this text box here is um, you can put any information you think is important in there. You know, it's it's free to to put whatever you want. So this is just a test, but you might have some additional information you might want to put in there. So then that's added to the site. What happens then is um, you will get an email confirming that it's been added um, and then it goes live on the site when you've specified and other people inside your organization will be able to claim it if needs be um, so that's how you add an item pretty straightforward let's do a search um, so let's just search all categories so this is the search results page there's two tabs there's this tab and there's that tab. Um, this tab is search results from your organization or organizations that your partner has that your organization has partnered with. It's called a Warbit Club. So you can see um, there's all sorts of things here. Um, you can do a better filter, filter of the search there. So let's just say I'm looking for a desk. Um, this looks like the kind of desk we've just put on. So here we go. Example University. Yeah. Claim now. And what happens then is you'll get sent an email, or the claimant will get sent an email telling them what to do next. And it's information about how to carry out the transfer.